NHS TV News with Joe Scarpinato and Bethany Williams. Hello and welcome to CHS TV News. I'm Joe Scarpinato. And I'm Bethany Williams. One of the hot spots on the Carthage High School scene is our Bulldog Band. The band scored straight ones in all categories at the District UIO Marching Contest in Nacogdoches earlier in the school year. A triumphant comeback over last year's unfortunate second division rating. <laughs> On April 19th, both CHS bands participated in UIL Concert and Sight Reading Contest here at Carthage. The Concert Band, or Second Band, directed by Dwayne Hubbard, received a 1 in Sight Reading and an average of 1 in Concert Contest, in spite of receiving a 2 from one judge. The symphonic band, directed by Mr. Stuart Bird, clinched the sweepstakes trophy with straight first division ratings in all categories. With victory fresh on their minds, the CHS band happily departed for Florida for a well-earned four-day vacation. Congratulations, CHS bands. Mr. Bird will be special guest on next week's Carthage Schools Present program. At that time, both CHS bands will be featured. When we return, CHS TV reporter Cedric Robinson visits the Industrial Technology Department. Stay with us. Sonic. Best fast food in Carthage. Sonic. You get friendly service, fast service, and most of all, the best service. Sonic. Check out the burgers, made fresh, just the way you want it. Your choice of mustard or mayonnaise, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and onions. And specialties, you get jalapenos and cheese. Sonic. Check out the conies, regular or footlong, with, with cheese or without. And don't forget our delicious Texas-style chili, made just the way you want it. Sonic. Check out the onion rings, made fresh every morning, fried golden brown and crispy. Sonic. Check out the drinks, straight from the fountains, your choice of extras that only Sonic has. Sonic. Check out the progress. Where other fast food chains have stayed the same, Sonic has improved, and we've won the awards to prove it. But most of all, we've won satisfied customers. Sonic. So when you've got the urge for great tasting food, come to Sonic. 710 West Panola, Carthage, Texas. Welcome back to CHS TV News. Recently, our CHS TV reporter Cedric Robinson visited the Industrial Technology Department. The Carthage Chapter Technology Student Association, or TSA, is preparing for contests. Sponsors of TSA is Mr. George Smith and Mr. Bud Worley. According to Mr. Worley, a variety of projects will be entered in competition. We have some in the, what, uh, that were done in the drafting lab, some working drawings over in the wood lab, uh, some, have some cedar chest, uh, some bookcases over here in the metals lab. We have some, uh, have a bush hog and uh, a park bench, uh, have some computer drawings and some computer applications uh, using a fax machine and using the modem. So there's several different areas. The club has had great success in past years. At the, in the past at the regional contest we've done quite well and at state contest for the past five years we have uh, won enough points to be the outstanding 4A high school for the last five years. Regional competition will be held in Tyler. It's held at Tyler at TJC, and then we'll go to uh, Waco. We go to we leave early Friday morning, about 5 o'clock in the morning, and uh, spend the night down there at the Waco Hilton, which is right adjacent to the convention center where all the contests are being held. We come home Saturday night. Uh, they have a good time along with kind of gives them some ideas to come back home and do other things for next year, possibly. Cedric Robinson, CHS TV News. Stay tuned for this public service announcement. The statistics of drugs. 
Statistics show that one out of every five kids starts using drugs before he or she graduates from high school. The effects of drugs. One out of every five teenagers becomes pregnant every year. Most are not only a result of carelessness, but also a result of drugs. One out of every 10 teenagers is killed every year from drinking, doing drugs, and driving. So if you want to save your life, take heed to our warning. Don't do drugs. This has been a message from 121 Carthage High Peer Helpers. Welcome back. The message we just broadcast was produced by the Carthage High School One to One Group, formed as a result done by Ed Cotta, which stands for the East Texas Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse. Recently, I spoke with two Ed Cotta representatives, Ms. Cindy Greer and Mr. Alvin White. The East Texas Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse is located in Longview. And we are a nonprofit organization, and we really believe in education and counseling. Well, one of the services that we provide, we provide this service for the ISD in our region, and we also work with community persons as well as the judicial system. I deal with students who have problems, uh, not just chemical problems, but problems as dealing with any type of behavior. All of Mr. White's meetings with students are private and confidential. One-to-one well, -one is a peer helpers group that was started this year, and that is basically a group that is kids helping kids. The important part of that is that they learn how to be friends and how to keep secrets and how to be there for other people. If they have an academic problem, this is why we organize the one-to-one -one group then I can make a referral to that group. One to one is not a club that depends on your grades to belong. Before joining, Mr. White and or a screening committee interviews you to see if you're really ready to begin counseling others. One to one meets every other Tuesday to discuss the problems that the group members are having and to discuss the progress that the cases are making. No names are mentioned. One to one is funded by the state, so there is no need to collect dues. But these ambitious young individuals are collecting money every time they meet so that they may be able to travel somewhere at the end of the year. Other sponsors of One to One are the school counselors, Betty Bounds and Joanne Miller. If you would like to contact the East Texas Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse, the address is 1101 East Birdsong, Longview, Texas 75602. The telephone number is 1-800-441-8639. Thank you for joining us for CHS TV News. Have a good day. Goodbye.